KDK's Jennifer Barresso also has a major new piece of information about where police were from the time the shooter was deemed a suspicious person to the time he started shooting. We now know that local police not only were inside the AGR complex, but also inside a two-story building with windows facing the roof the shooter got onto. The New York Times is also reporting Thomas Crooks may have scoped out the rally six days beforehand. Two days before the Trump rally, Butler Township Police say they clearly told the Secret Service they didn't have the manpower to secure the AGR complex. They were tasked to capacity with important traffic responsibilities, including the motorcade for former President Donald Trump. They were looking at assignments or ready to divvy up assignments, and our police department indicated that the manpower that they had necessary was not adequate for any assignment other than the traffic assignment that they intended to do. The question is, who was responsible for securing the complex? Multiple sources say nobody was in the building that Crooks climbed on and fired from. We've learned a local sniper team was in a two-story building attached to where Crooks was. You can see where the windows are above the roof level where Crooks was. CBS News reported a local tactical team spotted Crooks from those windows and snapped a picture. Crooks then pulled out a rangefinder and the sniper alerted his team. The shooter then likely used an air conditioning unit to climb onto the building near the sniper's position. At 551, state police alerted the Secret Service about a suspicious person and radioed a description within one minute. At 6 p.m., the former president was allowed to take the stage. Ten minutes later, Secret Service snipers were alerted about an issue unfolding to Trump's right. They quickly reorient in that direction, but it's too late. At 611, shots ring out. It's been explained to me having an officer on the roof might have obstructed the sight line of the sniper position inside the window of the building. Instead, it was a coalition of various local law enforcement. My sources confirm mistakes were made in the security plan. A lot of the blame game going on from cops on the street to politicians. Some questions. How did the communication break down? And why wasn't the building secured on the ground at all points of access? In Butler Township, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.